it's Kristen from Swagger Magazine, and today I am here with our cover star, Domenica Bone from The Boys. How's it going? Oh, wow. I love how you say my name. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> good, good. Thank you for having me. Uh, you know, I have to say, um, my um, my producer, so I do music on the side, and he's from Israel. Um, yeah. So he, 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 he teaches me. So We're into music. We're into music. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I love how you, you just have a guitar there. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll play and you sing something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> putting me on the spot here. It's another way of art, man. This is what we do, right? I didn't know, I didn't know that you played guitar. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one of my uh, go-to places after uh, obviously shooting um crazy crazy scenes like in the boys you need to mellow down after you come back home after you wash all the blood from you and uh all the frenchiness so yes. uh it's definitely a go-to place yeah yes so you are filming season four right now and yeah. i wanted to know you know when you first read the script and you saw it what were you what what did you think when you read it and how did you kind of get into character it's crazy because every time, every time we get the new scripts for a new season and we can't believe this is like the fourth season that we're doing already, everything it went so quickly and so fast. And then obviously, you know, season three was such a big scale, crazy, over the top, but with so much depth to the characters and you're like, you say to yourself before the episode, you get kind of tense because you say, how the hell are they going to top this up? Like, how are they going to make it better? And then funny enough, they always, you know, um, we have we have the most amazing writers uh, um, on the planet right now, like with the dirtiest <laughs> uh, uh, dirtiest intelligent mind which is a lethal combination but it's exactly what the boys need so um yeah that what what's usually happens is when i get the script i read it and then i get to a certain part and then i said wait did i just made that up or did i really read that and then you have to go back again to see, oh, shit, this is really <laughs> happening. This is what we're going to do this season. Gotcha. Noted. Uh, better get ready. Uh, and for this season in particular, uh, for Frenchie, more than anything, I said to myself, well, he's running a lot. I should get in shape. Like, I should be able, you know, uh, to sort my breath while I'm running. So I uh, did a lot of that. But... For an actor, it's it's uh, one of the biggest presents is uh, the ability um, to go back and visit a character season after season, and obviously develop uh, develop it and live with it uh, between the seasons. And just um, you know, even uh, before coming here, I remember being in Israel and I met this guy again, music from an Israeli band, and. I I went to the concert and I kind of hang out with them. And there was this guy who was ridiculous. And I just remember me taking notes about, you know, tricks and shticks that he does. Like I'm saying, I'm, 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 so you basically, what you do, you hunt for any clues and, uh, and crumbs you can find along the, along the way before starting the new one. And, um, uh, it's going great. I mean, as you know, we haven't, been able to um to do this for a long time because i'm drowning in shooting we are uh we have a lot to do and yeah. Uh, um, yeah and we're just in the midst of it but it is um it's what i tell the fans i don't think we're gonna disappoint it's yeah. gonna be uh it's gonna be another epic one. <laughs> oh, i i can't wait i honestly it's one of my favorite shows that's available right now so i really really um I, I mean all of us at swagger were obsessed with the show so um it's so fun to chat with you and you know get to learn more about the behind the scenes stuff now is there anything that fans wouldn't know about frenchie even maybe as you as an actor is there something that fan t tell me oh uh, no i won't no, oh. <laughs> no I won't. is it coming it's coming it's, in the next season it is coming in the next okay. season yes it is it okay. is 
Um, yeah, and it's a, it's a big one. It's an interesting one, and it is a sensitive one, and it is a romantic one. Speaking of romance, I was going to, and I don't know, maybe you can't say anything, but you know, we did kind of see a little bit of romance happening there between Frenchie and Samiko, but then she was kind of like, you're my family. And I know that a lot of fans are shipping this. Yeah. Would you like to see something play out in the next season between the two of them? Um, you know what? That relationship is uh, definitely, definitely evolving in season four. And again, I'm telling you, Kristen, I have to keep my <laughs> mouth shut. No, because you know what? In the end of the day, everything I'll give uh, in terms of what's going on in season four, and I'm talking about the depth of the characters and the storyline and stuff like that. For me, you know, if I weren't Frenchie, if I wasn't in The Boys, um, I would be a fan. And I would mm -hmm. watch the show. And I don't think I would want to get any spoilers, you know, before the new season comes. And this, in this one particularly, I feel that every little detail like I will give um, about any character mm -hmm. is just gonna, it's just gonna ruin the wow effect or the holy shit effect that uh, we're planning for the audience. And, uh, but one thing I can say for sure, it's gonna get bloody. Okay. So, okay. That's. I can't give you that. That's the scoop. I know. When I was prepping my questions, I'm like, okay, I know he's not going to tell me anything, so I'm going to try <laughs> to at least make them so that you know it's his opinion and not you know because I I totally get it. So and I know you can't say anything even if you wanted to. So no worries there. Now you are a very successful actor in your home, which is Israel. I want to know, you know, how everything's changed for you and on a North American scale doing mm. the boys now. It, it's uh, it's a life changing experience. I won't lie. It's uh, you know what? You are starting a career and you started in your hometown and obviously you have dreams and you, you know, in the end of the day, for me, it's like sports. You want to play in the best team in the world with the best crew, with the best uh, you know, uh, cinematographers, the best um, uh, producers, writers, directors, um, even grips, lighting, everything is like top scale in the boys. And uh, it's it definitely feels like I am playing for the strongest team, uh, um, one of the strongest team around there, out there. So it's, uh, it's an honor and it's a privilege and it's a very... Um, um, uh, I'm, I'm looking for the English words, which is talk about me being from Israel. It's, it's a very humbling experience. Um, and again, my cast members, like, uh, you know, actors in this caliber, just learning from them every day, having fun. It's the biggest, biggest um, gift I could ever ask for myself as an actor. That's amazing. And, the, you... boys is the, and the boys is the perfect playground. Like, you yeah. know, it's like... I know, and all of your characters bring something different to the table, which is something that I really like. And you get so um, into certain storylines and then you'll forget about something and then it's like, oh my gosh, that's happening. And <laughs> it's, um, it's really, really entertaining as a viewer. Always keeps you on your toes. So now you also are an Ophir winning award acting, actor, sorry. <laughs> You are an Ophir award-winning actor. I'll take actress. I have no problem. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, like, why did you start acting? And, you know, how did you get to where you are today? Uh, that's a great question. Um, a beautiful mistake is the romantic way of putting it. Um, didn't dream of it as a kid. Um, didn't thought it's something that can be achieved. Uh, you know, um, being from Israel and specifically where I grew up in, uh, the environment, having had like acting or theater or drama school or whatever around me, but it was always there. Now looking back, it's crazy to, to, to see my, I can really imagine myself and see myself as a kid sitting in front of the television and drooling in front of, of, um, you know, um, movies and, and, and shows and, and 
looking at it and fantasizing it and kind of thinking about maybe who are these people? Is it real? Is it an art form? What is it? And uh, I think the first time uh, for me, just starting the glimpse of, uh, of uh, art was actually a guitar. Um, just because it's a solo thing and you can just pick it up and uh, strum it and bang it and something comes out, which is yours. And um, it's very fulfilling. And you feel like you, feel like you are closed in your 360 in a bubble of creation. And, um, and then, yeah, man, I just, I, 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 I was all over the place. I did, I worked in so many different jobs from, uh, I worked with animals, with horses, with kids, uh, construction, waitering, um, sales, uh, real estate for a second. Um, and I sucked in each and every one of those jobs. It was almost um, uh, and I love the line that Frenchie has in the show, which um, it's in the first season, first episode is in, and he says to uh, uh, Jack uh, Quaid's character, Yui, he says, uh, I know a little about a lot of things. And that's how I felt, um, you know, running the world. And I really wanted to have something for, for myself. And uh, yeah, just a beautiful accident. A friend kind of heard me play guitar he started fooling around about maybe doing something with music and then he said there's a course in acting that he takes that really helps him uh with just being less shy and just expressing himself and i was living up north in israel i thought why not i'll take a train once a week it was pretty late i was already 25 26 when wow. i was yeah 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 and then Everything happened so fast in that year when I decided to go on that train. Uh, the same year I started working in the Israeli industry and uh, kind of left the drama school I was in and um, and just through working and through uh, knowing the craft of it and falling in love with it as I go. Um, it just became a part of my life and it, that train never stopped, to be honest. Like, I haven't stopped working uh for nine years straight from project to project god bless you know it's wow. uh, uh and yeah and 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 as more as i go more i'm fascinated about the magic of movie making of, of tv making um if it's um you know i'm still learning and i'm still like i'm there's books all around me you know i just got the larry moss book and I have uh, the life Bob Dylan. Uh, oh, love it! With me, and uh, you know my journal, and uh, it's it's never ending search. And then obviously um, being on the boys and kind of seeing the big scale sets that we are, and the big scale production is uh, is a whole new um, uh, top of the art university for me. So yeah. I'm still learning, I'm still curious, and that's what keeps me going. That's incredible. Can you, do you sing as well? Or just like for fun? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll sing. Yeah. I'll sing. You can yeah. sing? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. I was I'm just not, wondering. I'm... No, you know what? Well, what do you want? You want to do a duet? <laughs> <laughs> well, we could, we could, we could, we could. <laughs> Listen, so I, I, I am a big believer if 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 um, if something works out, just do that one thing. So music at the moment, um, and I think probably for years to come is uh, is uh, we can call it my side hustle. Yeah, and uh, my own personal side hustle. You like to my, you uh, or your hobby, right? Like at home. Yeah. Just yeah. Strum and you know sing doesn't yeah. doesn't have to be anything more than that. Exactly. That's be yeah. that's a beautiful thing too. Yeah. Now I heard that actually I saw you like so I was at Fan Expo with work and I saw you at your booth. I'm like, oh, there he is. Uh, away. Uh, Why yeah. didn't you come stay high? Your line was actually really big. So I was like, he's doing his thing. I'll I'll see him um, in a couple of weeks. But yeah. how has it how has it fe felt to be able to finally connect with fans? Like I know oh, the show man. came out during the pandemic, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's so much fun. It was a last minute kind of thing with uh, Toronto Expo. Um, 
um, they just just suggested to us, I think, like five days before or something like that. And we had a gap and we said to each other, you know what? We have to engage the fans. Uh, we need some fuel. In the end of the day, it's like the most amazing fans, uh, people that just approaching you and saying thank you. And actually, sometimes just have a very, very interesting insights for the character, for the story. A really, really good questions because you know they see it from from different point of view, um, and it's refreshing and it's uh, it really feels like um, you put in some gas, you know, not, not uh, like charging yourself with 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 um, with love and and with excitement and with passion, and then yeah. you, a day yeah. after you go back to work and you're all pumped up. Um, and yeah, man, with this character, with this specific show, like we couldn't ask for better, uh, you know, people, human beings, watchers who like get uh, the humor and uh, the pokeness and uh, the intelligence and the funnestness and uh, everything about it. So it's uh, it's been a blessing. It's been a blessing. That's amazing. Yeah, it was a really exciting weekend. And I know, um, like I said, your lineup was huge. So I was like, yes, <laughs> go Tome. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, you obviously spend a lot of time in Toronto. What is something that you've really enjoyed doing here? Do you have like a favorite place to visit or what do you like to do? Whenever I get a chance, I get out of town. I'll do some uh, dirt bike riding. Uh, nice. um, yeah, um, go to Muskoka go to, um, you know, Vancouver, Montreal uh, for the weekend. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of land. And like, uh, listen, man, again, I feel blessed being here. Um, yeah. I love this place. I love shooting here. I love working here. Your crews are amazing. Like we're working with, you know, Canadian, obviously operating the whole thing. And it's like phew, over the top. Uh, strong, strong individuals, man. Um, That's great. Yeah, amazing. Um, and it's exciting that so many shows are being filmed here. Like, absolutely. I'm driving around every five minutes. There's a set. Something, something good is happening with the industry here, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. I love that. I know that last time I saw you, you said you were worried about the winter because you haven't had a Canadian Never. winter. This is oh our first gosh. time, man. All of us, this is this is what the boys are talking about when we're playing back M and behind the scenes. This is all we are talking about. How the hell are we going uh, to work in winter? How the hell is this gonna happen? We never been, none of us, none oh of us. Oh my god. Have. I think Lenz Alonso did 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 something here. Maybe Karen also shot a movie here. I think Lenz Alonso was uh, you know, fucking with us when he says, he said like, you know, sometimes the lens of the camera, it just freezes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you wait for 10 minutes for it to defrost and you go back again. But Les, you need to watch out. I don't know if he's serious or not. <laughs> um, listen, I don't know. I need, I and I still don't have a jacket. You so. just need, I recommend getting a good pair of winter boots and a long jacket if you can. Not All a right. short one, you need one to the knee. <laughs> and right. then you're wearing a hat already, so you're good there. Um, okay, I wanna know what you want to see from Frenchie in the upcoming season of The Boys. You don't have to give me any, it doesn't have to be related at all to what's going on, but what would you like to see? Um, okay, I think they, I think they, uh, they even went further from my expectations for what, for what, for what French is, uh, is, uh, is going through. I mean, I'm, I'm smiling now under my mustache, just thinking about, uh, the scene I'm going to shoot tomorrow. And oh I'm my like, gosh. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I can't uh, wait. It's, I... uh, <laughs> listen, listen, seriously, it's. You can't even imagine the places that it's going. It is another hell of a ride uh, for the boys. In the end of the day, I think what's made the show so um, um, vital and so vibrant, so good is even your question, you know, what do I wish for Frenchie? 
we have the most amazing people. So our show writer, Eric Kripke, right? Um, you know, we talk about our characters. So if we have an idea, you know, you never know. Maybe it's going to get in. Uh, and that what makes us feel a part of the show and makes us feel, you know, like it's, 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 um, it's an ongoing team. Like we're, we're, we're back and forth with each other all the time, every time. It's very dynamic, um, uh, very changing and very uh, bloody. Again, oh. I thought about, I thought about tomorrow's scene. Um, yeah, I have a lot to do, man. Have you had a favorite moment on set um, or a moment where you're kind of like, what the hell? Because I just, I and I know I already told you, but that scene with that you're in and the last season, the first episode with yeah, yeah. The, guy, the, the guy who shrinks. And yeah. I remember jaw to the floor when I was watching that. <laughs> I was like, who thought of this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, so reading, I remember season two, reading about the whale, I went, what? what? And then I thought, how? And then I assumed, all right, there's going to be a lot of green screens, probably blue screens. And then you come, you drive to work and you park and you, and you think it's a cloud that is shading your, your, uh, your car and you look up and you see uh, 250 kilograms of animatronic whale putting down with two cranes on the beach of Toronto and you're like okay and then they they never stop to surprise because season three the scene you talked about you come in the set and they actually built like a six-story high um, you know what uh, <laughs> which was insane and then this time around, we have a lot of uh, what the fuck moments. Um, definitely. Can't wait. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. And uh, listen, man, every time the boys are together, I love when the five of us are together on set. It's just, it's, it's the most um, funny, friendly, fucking with each other, having fun, playing gammon um doing pranks just just enjoying ourselves and uh, and obviously working our asses off uh you know from 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 dusk till dawn yeah. it's uh, yeah yeah this show takes a lot of us and it takes a lot from us it's uh we're shooting long hours every day all day but again, the friendship and the passion that we share for this project, it's what makes it, you know, um, and obviously the audience, the oh, love yeah. that we're getting, it's worth everything. Absolutely. So, yeah. Well, like I said, it's one of my absolute, it's top five shows right now. Like, I, well, actually, I'd say it's my favorite show right now, along with Stranger Things for streaming. So I'm, I'm really, really excited because it just has everything. And I think it has a little bit of something for, for everyone. Well, maybe, of course, if you're over the age of like maybe 18 or I don't know. I don't know. Yes, if please, so. please, guys. I saw, I saw some families at the expo with their 12 and 13 year old kids. I'm sorry. There's a limit to, you know, I, I don't know what to say every time. And that's when I'm like, I'm speechless. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but the well, kids look happy. That's funny. Last question. Are there any upcoming projects that you have that we should know about? Um, I have a few projects. I've been, I'm, I'm constantly working about things. I'm constantly working. I've been blessed to do a movie before we started this season, like a sci-fi thriller, um, um, which I uh, acted alongside with Lawrence Fishburne, which was, uh, you know, Again, the kid from Israel who's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really doing this. I'm here. It was a really, really beautiful, beautiful experience. And he's just the most amazing actor and human being. And um, I'm always, we're always developing something. But, you know, the boys are taking uh, like 90% of our lives at the moment. Yeah. Uh, we're shooting a season for like eight, nine months. So uh, um, definitely. So we have a better time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, man, 
Amazing. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule to chat with me. You too. Thank you, love. And have All fun. Right. Have fun we'll building. Be in touch. We'll be okay. In touch. Sounds good. Bye. Bye.